We design a car. Okay. And the car is driven by electronic motor. Okay. Suppose we have a hybrid car. And then we have engine. And we have electronic motor. And those are has to be mounted on uh, on the frame of car. Okay. And the motor is regarded to be operated on certain frequency omega operation. Suppose the uh the motor's RPM is 2,000 RPM. Then the corresponding frequency is RPM is a round per minute. So how to compare to this RP, RPM unit to omega? Or frequency. You guys know how to solve the differential equation, but does not know how to convert the round per minute to frequency. Okay, let's start with the definition of RPM. Okay, RPM means how many round I take per minute. So how many rounds I take per second. To know that I have to divide this by 60, right? It's okay. Divide by this 60. And this gives me omega or f. f. This gives me the frequency. So I can say this is 2000 divided by 60 hertz is the operating frequency of this motor. Okay, this is about how many? 33 hertz. So I don't want to get a vibration at 33 hertz. Any vibration at all. Then what I can do? Okay, suppose I have a motor over here. It is rotating. Maybe has uh, some unbalance. Okay. How to do it? What is the perfect way to get rid of to get rid of the vibration at thirty three hertz? Maybe uh, some people think that okay, I know that the vibration of this system, suppose this is M, and there is a C, so I model this. There is unbalanced mass. And I model this, I can solve equation and then design K and C to to get a smallest vibration I can have. What is the other method we can do? So what do we call that kind of system? Dynamic of server. Vibration? Of server, right? So we may attach here some small mass A and a Ka. And how do we decide Ma and Ka? The vibration, natural frequency of the observer is K over 
M A. And if we design this to be 33 hertz, then what happens? Then force exerted by this vibration of server to the main structure would be same as the force it will be exerted by this master structure to the observer system will be equal and opposite. Therefore, the force will be cancelled out. There will be no vibration at all on this master structure, but there will be a lot of vibration on MAKA system. Right? We can we can simply design MAKA in such a way the natural frequency of observer is the same as the operating frequency of motor. Right? That's what we learned. But, what is the drawback of using dynamic vibration of survey? You see, if we gain something, we always lose something, right? That's the law of living. I, I think so. So if you have a good, fine-looking girlfriend means that you have to pay something, right? Or there will be some drawback, right? Of course, there is an exceptional case, for example, my wife. Huh? It is an exceptional case. Jane, you're supposed to tell what I told in the class to my wife, right? <laughs> what is the drawbacks? Drawbacks is in the fact that we have to put M-A-N-K-A in the structure. Suppose we have a space shuttle or we have an airplane. And if the uh, owner of the airplane say, can you reduce the vibration induced by the um, engine of the airplane? And of course I can, like, if, you, if you put a lot of vibration of server, I can completely reduce the vibration induced by the, by the engine. Then, then can he or she buy your idea? I don't think so. Because attaching mass means that for airplane you are losing money. Because you want to put more luggage, you want to put more passenger up on the airplane. You don't want to put the mass to reduce the vibration, right? So you will lose your job if you suggest the CEO that saying that uh, I want to put the more vibration of server to reduce the vibration. Okay? So it's not possible allowed to or allowed to the, uh, put the uh, vibration of server in space shuttle or airplane. What is the other method we can do? Uh, 